addressed to doubting servants of God. Out of your body will flow rivers of living water. This promise of mine will be fulfilled when you receive my word, when the water of life flows to you from above, when I can speak to you directly and my spirit can pour into you. For then you will truly become a source of life from which your fellow human beings can draw in order to refresh and strengthen their souls for their pilgrimage on earth. You humans usually have no understanding for this purely spiritual process which, however, is earthly provable through the spiritual knowledge I was able to convey to earth through a suitable instrument. For it was gained without external aids, it is the result of inner instruction through the spirit, it is the evidence of the bond of the spiritual spark resting in the human being is my share with the father spirit from eternity. It is my word which sounds out in direct address to you humans who open your hearts and desire to be addressed by me. Yet how little do you humans know about this outpouring of the spirit, how little do you believe that my word is conveyed to you when my messengers bring it to you, when they ask you to listen to a delicious spiritual gift which can only come forth from me myself and be offered to you. How little do you yourselves do to let the flow of grace of my love flow into you, for you don't believe in such a visible expression on my part, and you don't understand the words of scripture either, otherwise it should be easy for you to believe. But you entrench yourselves behind the words of scripture and deny that I express myself time and again, you believe that my activity is concluded with the words of scripture you believe that you do not need any further word from me. Yes, you presume to dictate to me whether I may express myself to people on earth. You deny any revelations, although I myself have said. He who loves me and keeps my commandments is the one I love. To him I will reveal myself. How do you read the scriptures which testify of me? You certainly read the letter but you lack the spirit which introduces you to the truth. And yet you feel called to instruct your fellow human beings. You also feel called to warn your fellow human beings to listen to me myself and my word when they are commanded to do so. And you call yourselves servants of God. For these I address who want to portray my working as the working of my adversary and are themselves strongly under his influence. For he who does not recognize me is not mine. For my sheep recognize my voice and they follow it. But again and again I will speak to people, again and again I will reveal myself to people who believe in me and desire to hear me. For it is the end time and my adversary works with cunning and force, and thus I will also work unusually for the blessing of humanity and alleviate or also remedy the great spiritual adversity where only the will is good, where only a heart opens and receives my gift of grace, and it will truly not be lost when the end has come. Amen.